What is up YouTube? Chris Roma here aka Roma Aquatics. This video is going to be about algae and vibrant aquarium cleaner for reef aquariums. So this product claims to brighten and clean aquariums in as little as 12 hours. Uh, so you're supposed to be able to add 1 ml of this for every 10 gallons every week or two depending on how dirty your tank is and uh, supposed to it claims to say goodbye to algae cloudy water grungy dirty aquarium and say hello to sparkling crystal clear algae free vibrant aquariums um, normally I wouldn't buy into that and I would consider that complete snake oil um, however BRS TV or BRS investigates uh, had did a four tank test on this and it turned out to pass their approval. So I figured uh, I'd give it a shot. So let me get, okay, so I had to put my little uh, filter on there so we can get some shots of without all the blue. But as you can see, the tank is in the middle of its ugly stage for sure. Um, so I wanna try to get rid of some of this algae and then just have it be skimmed off from the skimmer. The rock doesn't really have any too bad. The rock looks pretty good. It's more of the, the substrate and the frag plugs that are getting hit with that algae. Some of these, some of those uh, some plugs are real, real bad. And I do give these guys peroxide dips every once in a while. So they probably got dipped about a month ago and the algae just came right back. So. Hopefully Vibrant, this product will be able to take care of that for me. So I'm going to add a little bit uh, today and we'll get a shot back in 12 hours. Let's see how it looks. Actually, it'll probably be more like 24 hours because in 12 hours I'll be sleeping. We are back. It's been about uh, 48 hours. I didn't do a 12 to 24 hour update because it really only made the water clearer, which that is totally available, valid claim. But it definitely got clear. Um, and I didn't notice any algae differences until this morning when I got up and I looked at the substrate and I said, holy crap, um, no new growth. It is not growing up. Um, every night my conch comes through this and turns, up, turns this uh, substrate a little bit. So like you can see there's some whiter whiter patches where the conch has gone through and turned it um, but there's some patches where he doesn't and that usually um, it'll get longer and stringier and I've noticed it's shrinking down like crazy in the middle of the screen there you can see how it's kind of a little bit longer and there's some movement there but it's not it was twice that so it is shrinking for sure in two days shrank down um, my frag plugs covered in algae I'd really really like to get in there and manually remove this algae and give them a peroxide dip because it is getting bad but I'm refraining so that I can see what the vibrant does um, I might like that uh, clementine zoe there the algae is almost overtaking it so a few of these plugs I might get in there and, and clean off um, but the point is this the algae on these plugs is changing color well the algae everywhere is changing color but it's especially noticeable on the plugs uh, it's turning more of a whiter grayer color and that there's gen definitely no new growth which I'm super happy with it so no new growth uh, you can notice it on the pump the pump used to be you can see on the cord how it's like long and stringy that long part on that cord used to be how that whole pump was covered. So it's definitely eating away at it. Uh, the Montipora on the back wall there that I'm hoping take over was having some uh, algae issues. They are totally clean now. So it seems like that was um, uh, within two days it basically cleaned, the, cleaned that back wall, which is sweet. And there's noticeably a lot more skimmate in my skim collector. It's dark, nasty. Um, probably about triple the amount of skimmate that I normally collect daily so it's doing something but yeah it is dark nasty stuff that is pulling out of there very happy with it so we'll be back give you about a week update soon but I'm extremely happy after 48 hours we are at the eight day mark and I couldn't be more impressed with it honestly I thought it would take longer 
Um, but if we come in here, we look at the substrate, there's literally nothing that has those long stringy hairs on it. It's just got a little bit of a brownie green color still. Um, but all of that stringy, hairy algae is completely gone. Um, super impressed over here if we look at the frag rack. Uh, I did end up cleaning that clementine, uh, the rainbow incinerator, the mole cracks, the bowser, and two of those uh, radioactive dragon eyes. So basically that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, I cleaned. But all the other things, I didn't touch anything. And um, you can see, hold on, let me get my macro lens on here. And we can see that the algae has cleaned itself up quite a bit. Uh, there's a lot more long, stringy, hairy algae on this rack here. I mean, there's definitely still algae on the plugs, but they were being overtaken. Uh, this magician is starting to come back. I have, I dipped it in iodine and now it's coming back. Watch my uh, other video for that. It'll be coming out soon. Uh, you can see definitely still some algae on the Smurfette there. Um, but it is getting so, so much better, especially since it's only been approximately eight days. It's really uh, very impressive. We are back. It is approximately three weeks later. Uh, exactly 23 days later um, and again I'm still extremely impressed with this product I didn't put the orange filter on we'll put the filter on after because I noticed the first video I took of the algae I didn't use the filter unfortunately um, and I think it's because I didn't have as much faith in this product as I should have that I didn't get uh, that first video of the algae. I really really wish I got better shots of exactly how much algae there actually was and With the filters so you could actually see the difference because the difference is Amazing actually in all honesty super impressed. I'll be using this product for as long as I uh, own a reef But anyways, let's take a look. I'll get the first of all We'll look without the filter so you could kind of compare it to the first video I took um, without the filter, but as you can see No algae whatsoever. Some of the stones are a little discolored green, uh, but there is literally no Growth like there's no stringy growth whatsoever um, All the algae has just disappeared So the frag rack as You can see there's barely any algae on any of these frags at all. I did clean again in the previous video. I mentioned I clean a couple of these frags But most of them The vibrant did it's great. I didn't touch anything on that back rack. They're all algae free I didn't touch those rastas. They were covered. They're algae free All right, let's get the So here's a shot of what it looks like with the orange filter on as you can see there's definitely still some discoloration in the stone, but that's normal for this sized gravel. But no brown algae growth, all that hairy, nasty stuff that was taking over is completely gone. I'm super happy. The plugs are basically clean. And this looks fantastic. So Vibrant, plus one in my book for Vibrant. I'll be using it forever. I guess that's it for this one, guys. Uh, Rome Aquatics out.